I know you had Katie Taylor, Cal Yafai's fights already done mm -hmm. and dusted. <laughs> it wasn't this Aegis fight that you had to obviously rearrange. You mm -hmm. had Dave Allen, mm -hmm. you also no, had Fabiano yeah, yeah. as well. So it wasn't just one fight. It was no, it was difficult. And don't forget, you know, once we'd sold out and once we'd announced everything, we then added Dillian White against Elanius only what two weeks ago. So it's been it's been a rough show, and you know it's been difficult. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's incredible value for money. People are very you know you're there to be shot now. And look, I'm a I'm a flash promoter, so I have to take the rough with this move. If you hate me, just tell me you hate me. It's not a problem. If you love me, tell me you love me. I like that. It's nice. But it's just how it is. So I don't mind the criticism. But do me a favour and look at the competition and look at the other pay-per-view fights and undercard for pay-per-view fights and ask me, are you serious? Like, we've got three world title fights. You know, we've got Dillian White, which is effectively a fight for the number one position in the WBC. You've got the biggest star in world boxing in Anthony Joshua in a mandatory defence of his three world title belts. You've got Katie Taylor, the biggest star in women's boxing going for her first world title. You've got Cal Yafai, arguably the best super flyweight champion in the world, which in an incredible division, fighting his mandatory. They're like 48 and 0 between them. But Frank Buglioni against our boy Craig Richards in a great little matchup. But Guazzi, Coley, Cordina. I mean, like, but people love to, to, you know, shoot you down and they love to moan. If you don't think it's good value, and if you don't want to sit there on Saturday night and enjoy a great night of boxing and watch the biggest star in, in world boxing, I might. You know, there was a, there these things. But do you think because we've got there's so many pay per views? Of course now, there is. But what I'm saying is, is let's compare if you want. If you want to moan at pay per views, <laughs> we're standouts. We're miles ahead of the competition for pay per views. It's not even close. But still, it's, the thing is, is when you're on top, people don't like it. People love to shoot you down. When you're coming through, People love to get behind you and say, go on, you're the underdog, right? So when I came into UK boxing, the support was incredible. It was like, Eddie, you're a breath of fresh air. What you've done, you've turned over Frank Warren, you've turned over the, the norm, the monopoly, if you like. Go on, Eddie. And then you get the monopoly, and you're the, you're the bad man, you're the evil man. In America now, I'm greeted with that same breath of fresh air. But the business can't stand me. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like in America, the same way I felt like here five or six years ago, when it was me against the world, people trying to block me. You know, people trying to tell broadcasters this and that and get me in trouble and, you know, and talk about me in the media to try and deter fans and fighters. I've experienced it all before and it motivates me, you know? But unfortunately, we're in a position in the UK where we're the bad guys, as you see by my reaction when I come on the mic, because I'm the guy that puts on loads of shows, charges you the money, charges you the pay-per-view, and people just presume that I set everything, the prices, the fights, the, the money, and I'm involved with that, but it's a business. You know, it's my job to maximise the revenue for the fighters. Talking about your haters in America, yeah. I don't know if you saw Richard Schaefer's interview I with did. us. Yeah, wow, yeah. Um, I wanted some a reaction because he well, said quite a few things to yeah. you. Do you know what? Can you talk it, about the impressions first? Yeah, I mean, the impressions, um, I get asked every time I go Instagram Live, every time I go any kind of form of social, every time I'm with Coogan, yeah, everyone's saying, do the impressions. Oh, go on, do the impressions, do the impressions. I think the humour in England is much different to the humour in America. Like, everyone seems to like my impressions and think they're funny. But I always say before my impressions, don't take this personally. Now this is not an intention, and it's never, but it's never an intention to upset Richard Schaefer. I can just imitate him well. If he come on your fight hype, right, and went, oh yeah, Eddie Hearn's coming to America. Oh yeah, all right, mate, yeah, I've got these great shows, yeah, you know what I mean, like ducking and diving apples and pears. I'd think it was hilarious, but I'd, I've now I've realised how sensitive these guys are. I'm probably going to have to stop because Eubank doesn't mind my impressions. He thinks it's quite funny. He doesn't really like me, but you know he's not sitting there going, "I can't believe you impersonated." So I'm just trying to be entertaining.